Hey, what's up? How do you feel today? My name is Natalia. Nowadays, information is everywhere. You see the news on TikTok, Telegram groups, Instagram, TV, in magazines and many other places. However, there is always a place for fake information and conspiracy theories in the world of news. That's why today we will learn a lot of new information about how to recognize a fake and the main media literacy rules. It's not a secret that we all live in times of digitalization when everything we need can be found on the Internet. We can keep up to date on what is happening in the world. We enjoy this way of life because it is convenient and time-saving. But as in the real physical world, there are a lot of dangers on the Internet. So it is crucially important to use your critical thinking and get media literacy skills. There are several rules that might help you not to be tricked by fake news. First, you always have to do the fact-checking. Truthful news usually includes a lot of data, statistics, and comments from experts. If they are missing, then think about why. Second, check the original source of information, the author and the date. Reports with fake news may sometimes be published with incorrect dates or before something bad happens to confuse the reader. There are also a lot of social media bots, which are usually used as experts or true sources by fake news media. Always consider what the writer's motivation might be. Third, check if the images are original. Photos and images in social media could have been edited or manipulated. Especially now, when we have Photoshop and other tools to edit any photo or video. It can also be a deep fake of a politician or a famous person, generated by artificial intelligence. Fourth, develop critical thinking. A lot of false reports are written to provoke a strong emotional reaction from the reader, such as interest, anger, or fear. Such a report is usually called a clickbait. Develop your critical thinking by asking yourself, is this story promoting a certain cause or ideology? Why has this story been written? Lastly, check your own stereotypes. We are all influenced by stereotypes that we truly believe in. Social media algorithms are constructed in a way to make you read mostly the things that match your opinions, interests, and habits. The more we read different sources of information, and different perspectives on the same thing, the more correct conclusions we can make. I guess it's time for practice. There is a task on the screen. Pause the video. Choose the correct option. Are you ready? Let's check it. 1. I bought my granny a smartphone to help her. A. To keep up to date. 2. Did you see this new B, deep fake about our president? In the video, he is dancing in his underwear. It looks so real. 3. Russian media creates a lot of B, fake news about Ukraine every day. 4. It is very important to A, do the fact checking to identify fakes. 5. You will never believe that Angelina Jolie is the perfect example of C, a clickbait. Good job! Now when you know more about media literacy, it is time to listen to the text about where people of different ages get the information from. Listen to the audio. While listening, try to find out what sources of information millennials use to keep up to date. Our world is overloaded with information in different languages, of different perspectives, genres and topics. It is so fast changing that it won't be a surprise if at some moment in our history people will receive the news from the Internet right to their brain and communicate with each other in metaverse. However, when Gen Z usually uses social media and the Internet to get new information, their grandparents, baby boomers, still watch the news on TV. Let's listen to what the statistics say. Baby boomers 
Baby boomers are people born between 1947 and 1965. Basically, our grandparents used the traditional ways of getting information, such as TV, movies, and printed magazines. However, Deloitte's annual research shows that they are also active in social media like YouTube and Facebook. Due to the statistics, around 67% of baby boomers use YouTube, and 78% of them are active on Facebook. Gen X, Gen X is people born between 1966 and 1982, have the habits of both baby boomers and millennials. They are more technologically intelligent than boomers, and seem to use the internet as much as millennials. They prefer to get new information from the TV news and social media at the same rate. They play a critical role as they are the parents of young people. The most popular social media among them are Facebook and YouTube, with around 1.5 billion views on YouTube daily. Millennials. Millennials defined as people born between 1983 and 1996 are good at technology and prefer to get information from non-traditional sources such as podcasts, digital platforms, and streaming services. They are the first users of the internet and are extremely active in social media. The most popular social media sites among them are Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Additionally, 75% of millennials believe that the presence of the brand on social media is crucially important and influences their decisions to buy anything. Gen Z, Gen Z or Zoomers, the age group of people born between 1997 and 2007, have the highest range of media habits. Social media is the number one way to get their news from Zoomers. Moreover, they are very unlikely to watch TV and get new information there. Gen Z is into playing the video games, listening to music online, surfing the internet, and chatting on social media platforms. Zoomers show that future media trends will change in the near future. The streaming platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Spotify, Twitch, Netflix, and many others. May become the main source of information among Zoomers, while traditional sources might stop working. Do you agree with the information in the text? Well, I hope so. Let's practice a little. There is a task on the screen. Pause the video. Read the statements. Choose whether they are true or false. Are you ready to check? Let's do it. One, the most popular social media websites among baby boomers are YouTube and Twitter. False, the most popular social media websites among them are YouTube and Facebook. Two, people of Gen X were born between 1966 and 1982. True. Three, the TV news and social media are equally popular among Gen X. True. Four, millennials choose non-traditional ways of getting news like podcasts, streaming services, etc. True. Five, Zoomers like to receive their information in games. False. They prefer to receive the news from social media. Well done. It was a great lesson, guys. Today we learned five rules of media literacy and analyzed the text about various sources of information usage across different generations. Remember to do the fact checking and read only trustworthy media. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.